Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And this is Muhammad al Jabir. And in this set of videos, I'm going to go over a selected group of chapter 5 exercises. We're going to showcase how we can answer each question. In this video, in particular, we're going to be looking at exercise 5 1a. So let's read the exercise together. It says, Tanner Manufacturing is developing an activity-based costing system to improve overhead cost allocation. Now remember, all of our uh, activity-based costing is applied to manufacturing overheads only, right? So we might have some direct materials, direct labor associated to a specific manufacturing activity, but to apply the activity-based costing or ABC, we are only looking at the manufacturing overhead. So don't don't forget that. Let's continue reading. One of the first steps in developing the system is to classify the costs of performing production activities into activity cost pools. Now, what is required? Using your knowledge of the four categories of activities that we covered in class: um, unit level, product level. Or a unit level, batch level, product level, and facility level, classify the cost of each activity um, to the appropriate um, level, right? One of these. So for each one of these costs, we're going to classify it as either unit, batch, product, or facility level costs. So let's go over the list that is provided to us in the question. The first one, plant security. Now, plant security this is for the security of the whole factory right because it says plant security right so for this particular one the appropriate classification would be a facility level right so i'll just say facility b ordering materials for a specific type of product now this material that they order is directly related to only one specific product or specific type of product right now typically materials would be allocated to certain units but here because they are specifically telling us that this material is going to help in the production of only one product line so we're going to classify this as a product level cost see wages of workers moving units of work between workstations okay so they are basically moving some products right uh, between workstations so from the first station for example workstation for example to the next one and these are units of products right so here we're going to classify this particular cost as a unit level cost why because each unit of product is going to be uh, moved from or between different workstations to complete the manufacturing process okay so that cost would be associated with each product or each unit of product that the company produces d factory-wide electricity again everything that is plant-wide or factory-wide or anything of that sort that would be most appropriately uh, classified as a facility level cost so we'll write facility on this one A salary of a manager in charge of a product line now typically when we talk about managers we have two types of managers we have managers that oversee the whole factory say the factory manager or plant manager and sometimes we have lower level managers that oversee the production of a specific product line and here because they are telling us directly that this manager is in charge of a product line that means that makes his 
and salary a product level cost, right? Because if we eliminate that specific product that this manager um, oversees the production of, then only the cost of that product, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the manager's salary will be eliminated, right? But it doesn't affect other product lines, uh, definitely doesn't affect any units produced in other uh, product lines and so on, right? Next one, F, sales commissions. Now, sales commissions typically go hand in hand with each unit sold, right? Because we do have or we hire some salesmen who advertise our products, try to sell them, and they would get commissions per unit, right? So that would be a unit level cost. Next one, G, engineering product design. Again, there is a keyword here. We can clearly see this is an engineer or the, the cost of engineering a specific product's design. So that would be associated with that particular product, right? So we can classify this as a product level cost. H supplies. Now here, this is an interesting one because <clears throat> it could be either or. These are supplies. So depending on the type of supplies and what is it used for, we should um, we should have a better understanding, and we have we will be um, we will be able to more accurately classify that particular cost pool or cost activity, right? But here they're not really um, clarifying uh, what exactly are those uh, supplies and what are they used for. So it could be unit level, it could be uh, facility level, right? Because it isn't clarify, I see that the most appropriate uh, classification would be facility level. If we follow the textbook, um, the textbook's uh, solution manual, it tells us that this is a unit level. Okay. If I give you a similar question in the um, in the exam, and I give you a similar example, I would accept both answers. So it could be a facility, and it could be a, a unit uh, level cost. Okay. Next one, wages of maintenance uh, staff. You now these probably a maintenance uh, group of uh, maintenance workers who uh, maintain the whole uh, facility or the whole plant. So for that, we can classify their wages as a facility level cost. Finally, labeling and packaging. Labeling and packaging would most certainly be carried out as an activity with each unit of product. And because of that, we can classify this as a unit level activity. All right. So that is the answer to the first exercise in this chapter, exercise 5-1A. Hope you found this video useful. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.